Welcome. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the correlation function in Excel. So we have a data set here that has um, home prices and thousands and various other characteristics, bedroom size, whether it has a pool, um, the section of town, which we won't include in the correlation because it has uh, text fields rather than numeric, and then the garage, um, one for whether it has a garage, zero if it doesn't, and the number of bathrooms. Um, and we want to use the correlation to measure the um, strength of, of these relationships. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the data set, and I'm going to um, enter a correlation function, equals corel. And after I select the uh, function and enter my parentheses, I'm going to select my first range, which is the column that has the home prices and then I'm going to uh, insert a co comma and then my second range so the first relationship is between the number of bedrooms and the price of the home so we see the correlation between these two columns of data is 0.467 um, in order to measure all the other relationships, first I'm going to absolute reference the home price because I want to measure each of the individual fields with the home price. So I'm going to um, absolute reference this part of the formula. So I'm hitting my F4 button to add the dollar signs in. And now I'm just going to um, autofill to the right so I get each of the other um, correlations. So um, I can see that the square footage has a 0.37 correlation. The um, pool ha actually has a negative correlation, 0.29. Um, I'm going to remove this eventually. The section of town has a division by zero because it has text. And then we have the garage, which has our strongest correlation, and the number of baths. Um, so in order to present this, I'm going to start a new worksheet, and I'm just going to copy this data over. So I'm selecting and copying, and in the new worksheet, I'm going to paste special, um, paste the values over so that I get my results without any um, having to mess with having the correlate formula. And then I'm just also going to copy the headings over. So now I'm going to uh, convert this from a horizontal to a vertical by copying and then uh, pasting special again, but this time I'm going to transpose. And I'm just going to delete this data because we don't need it anymore. And I'll also delete it from the original worksheet. And now I'm going uh, to get rid of the section because we're not going to use that. And now I'm just going to present these. Um, I'm going to enter an absolute value function because I'm going to uh, eventually add a conditional format. And I want this negative number to show up positively in the um, conditional format. So I'm going to include a data bar, but I'm going to go to more rules and show the data bar only. Just widen it a little bit. Um, I don't need to show all these decimal points, so I'm going to make that a comma format. And then I'll just add a heading here by doing a merge and center and just putting a label on correlation with home prices. Um, 
And I could also do a sort if I wanted to show the strongest relationships. Um, so a custom sort by column C, largest to smallest. And um, so now we have our final result. We could do a little bit more formatting if we wanted to um, get rid of the grid lines, maybe add a, um, a border around our data. Okay, so that um, concludes this video. Thank you for watching.